Welcome to Word From Wise, bus stories, flowers in the street. First of all, thank you for sharing uh, the ne this story with me. This is episode seven. I call this one my first snatch and dash. <laughs> so I'm driving line four, and uh, I think I was going northbound. No, no, I was, no, I was going to Fort Fessenden, heading towards St. John's in Oregon, which is, uh, St. John's is a, uh, and for you, those who don't know, is a uh, suburb of Portland, Oregon. And so I'm driving line four. It was uh, getting kind of dark, and the bus was not, like, packed, but it was, like, almost standing room only. There was probably, like, maybe a half a dozen seats available, if that. And this lady gets on, it's, it's, and, and she's got this beautiful new, I don't know, fancy phone. I don't know if it was an iPhone or... Uh, but it sure was a nice looking phone and she was on it, which was rude. When you get on the bus, you should speak to the driver, say hi, thank you, have a nice day, uh, or later for you, uh, you ugly, say something, you know, just out of common decency. I, I hate it when people are, are preoccupied when I'm dri when I get, when they get on the bus and, and, and I'm trying to communicate with them or tell them that they didn't put enough money in and they're so busy talking on the, they're so busy talking on the phone, you know, that they're, Huh? What? Oh, excuse me. Hold on. You know, and, and I was like, have your money together. Have your money ready. Look me in the eye. Greet me. You know, unless I'm really, really busy and I'm packed. And if I, I, I speak to everybody. And you, out of common decency, you should speak back. And then some bus drivers are different. They don't speak at all. They don't want you hold, holding up the bus and, with us conversating with everybody. They got on the bus, had a conversation. So, and they, they should say in the training class, don't ask how you're doing. Because how you doing, or how are you, uh, it opens up the door to a whole dissertation or young essay about their, their current life. <laughs> and we don't have time for that. You got to maintain the schedule and do it safely. And you, you got to focus. So anyway, this lady gets on. She's talking on her phone. She's preoccupied. She is so loud. She sits almost in the back of the bus. And you can hear her all the way in the front. And I'm on a mic saying, next stop. You know, 82nd Avenue, Siguiente Parada, Avenida Ochentaeros. You know, I'm on, a, I'm, on, I'm on the job. I'm driving. And she's on the phone, get girl this, and yada, yada, yada. Ha, 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 ha. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 And then, but she, what she didn't know is that there was three teenage boys that get on my bus all the time. They were going to football practice. Because or, 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 I say that because they usually have football uniforms and a football, a helmet, and little pads and shit and uniforms with them. But today they didn't. And, you know, I think it was like on, it was on a Friday, too. This was Friday after school, so I don't know why they didn't, but they didn't. And anyway, she's talking all loud on the phone. Next thing I know, one of the young men snatched the phone out of her hand. She, ah! And he, and he and, 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 well, I was at a bus stop. I, I got a hat on myself. I was sitting at the bus stop, and, the, and I'm servicing the stop. Okay, I'm stopped. Both doors are open. It's, like I said, the bus is like... Packed. It's almost standing room only. And there's new customers coming in. And then there's customers exiting the bus, leaving out. Well, they was in the line to exit out, coming down the back stairs. And right where she was sitting, she was sitting like right at the door. But there's like a like a, a, a bar and a, a divider, a metal divider, like a little half wall. And then the door is open. She's sitting there on her phone, yada, 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 yada. And he snatched her phone and ran, busted, ran out the door. And she's, ah, ah. So that was my first snatch and dash. You know, of course, then we called the police. You know, she wanted me to, driver, can you stop him? I'm like, yeah, ma'am, I'm not allowed to get out from behind the seat. <laughs> you know, and if I do, that puts other people in danger. If I try to chase him and go around the block, he can stop and turn and assault me. Or he can start shooting and shots get fired into the bus and I have 
stories where the bus has had gunshots and we'll say that for another story but no gunshots in this story just a snatch and dash so beware when you're on your fancy new cell phone and you talking loud and we've all done it we've talked loud you know, sometimes I'll be uh, on the phone and I'm not really on the phone just because the bus is so packed. I don't want to be bothered. So I just on the phone having a conversation. Yes. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, you're going to oh, tuna casserole? Yeah, that sounds good, girl. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. I, well, I never thought to put bell pepper. You know, just, just <laughs> anything to keep the creeps, the winos, the druggies, the, 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 the people that beg that you don't want to deal with that smell like, you know, whatever. Anything to keep them at bay, I would fake. And I got that idea from my, my special son. <laughs> my son said, Mom, sometimes I'm on the phone. I'm not on the phone. I just don't want to be bothered. And I, and I, you know, so I, I was like, that's a good idea. We need that. So anyway, word from the wise. If you are on the phone, know that it could, someone could snatch it and run. And the bus driver is not going to, you know, they, they, they I, I can't stop the service. We can stop and call the police and, and report it. But we got to keep it pushing and, you know, stay in our lane. And so it's your responsibility ultimately to be aware of your surroundings. And you're never safe on the bus. This is the general public. You're on the street. The bus is just a rolling street <laughs> a box of, that's a snapshot of the street. You have everything that's on the street in that box. So there's people that steal. There's people that rob. There's people that kill. There's people that cuss. There's people that fuss. There's people that on the bus. <laughs> All right, thanks for sharing my story, episode seven, my first snatch and dash. See you on the next one, y'all. Bye.